Do you have a hard time bantering with others? If so, I can relate to you. As someone who was raised in a traditional Asian family and worked an engineering job, having a sense of humor didn't come naturally to me. These days, I'm able to have more playful conversations with whoever I interact with. So if I can figure this out, you can as well. Today, I'm going to give you five actionable tips on how to be more witty. I'm about to share with you the exact same process that I've used to come up with good comebacks even if you're a logical thinker. And to make that happen, there's a very important habit that you need to develop. If not, then your mind will blank out and whatever you say won't be as funny. To make sure that doesn't happen to you, you'll want to pay close attention to my first tip. From what I've noticed, those who are always serious in their conversations tend to make the same mistake. And it hurts me to see it because I've done the exact same thing in the past. Back then, my schedule was very consistent. I go to the office, go home, and spend hours binging on Netflix after dinner. And then I'd wake up the next day only to do the same thing all over again. If that sounds like you, here's what you need to realize. You won't be able to come up with interesting things to say if you don't do anything differently. Remember, a boring life leads to boring conversations. If you're wondering how to be more witty, you need to know a little bit about a lot of things. That's why you have to keep educating yourself. Now, if you're anything like me, then you're probably a busy person. That's why you have to find a way to keep learning new things that fit into your schedule. For me, I listen to a lot of audiobooks and podcasts. It's a great way to consume valuable information while I'm walking, during my commute, or when I'm running my errands. That way, I can make the most out of any downtime. If you keep this up, you'll expand your knowledge, which will help you think outside of the box. Not to mention, this will ensure that you always have something to say, which will make you more fun to interact with. If you're wondering how to become a more interesting person, this is one of the best ways to do it. But if you want to become more witty, this is just the beginning. There's something else that you need to do. In fact, if you don't understand my second tip, then you may not get the reaction that you want from others. To explain to you what I mean, I want to remind you of something. Everybody's different. Just because you think something is funny doesn't mean others will as well. For example, if I'm around my guy friends, then we're going to enjoy a particular kind of humor. Obviously, that's not going to fly, if I'm around my girlfriend or my parents, right? They won't find the same things funny and it may even rub them the wrong way. That's why if you want to learn how to be more witty, you have to be empathetic. Before you say anything, put yourself in other people's situations. That way, you can see where they're coming from. That being said, if you're around people that you don't know very well, try to have a casual conversation with them first. You see, this is where making small talk comes into play. By doing so, you can gather more relevant information. This will help you get familiar with whoever you're talking to. The better you know your audience, the more you'll be able to tailor your message to them. You'll be able to come up with things that they'll find amusing, and you'll minimize the likelihood of offending them. That being said, if you want your comebacks to be more impactful, there's something else that you need to do. That's why you'll want to pay close attention to my third tip. If not, then you'll come across as a boring person. Your remarks will sound lame, which can lead to awkward lulls during your interactions. This can make whoever you're chatting with feel awkward which will discourage them from wanting to hang out with you. In fact, this is a common issue that I see a lot with our clients in our social skills coaching program. Because they don't know how to come up with clever things to say, they just keep to themselves. As a result, people ignore them, which makes them feel left out in social situations. To make sure that doesn't happen to you, here's what you need to understand. The element of surprise is a key component to improving your sense of humor. I know for me, when something makes me laugh, it's because someone said or did something that I wasn't expecting. That being said, if you want to improve your wit, you can't be predictable. If you want to banter well with others, you have to think creatively. To help you implement this, here's a simple exercise that you can do. Pick any object and set a timer for a few minutes. And then try to come up with as many unexpected associations. The more unique it is, the better. If you do this consistently, you'll be able to come up with good comebacks and you'll get out of your head much faster as well. By the way, if you're tired of struggling socially and you wanna learn more about our social skills coaching program, I'd love to connect with you. Book your free consultation today by going to socialconfidencemastery.com. That link is also available in the description below. That being said, if you wanna prevent your mind from blanking out, there's something important that you need to realize. We'll talk about that more in my fourth tip. From what I've noticed, those who have a hard time being playful tend to have low self-esteem. They don't feel good on their own. That's why they seek approval from others. And because they're afraid of looking bad, they try way too hard for people to like them. That's why they find it difficult to act like themselves in social situations. As a former shy guy, that was definitely the case for me. That's why I was always in my head 
worrying how it might be coming across to others. You see, it's hard to think creatively when you're always so uptight. That's why in order to be witty, you need to learn how to relax in social situations. Now you might be wondering, how do you exactly do that? Before I tell you how, I want to remind you of something. You can't control how people respond to you. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter who you are and what you do. No matter how hard you try, not everyone is going to like you. That's why you need to stop trying so hard to impress others. Instead, you need to detach from the outcome and just focus on expressing yourself. Remember, talking to people doesn't have to feel like a chore. It could be a lot of fun if you stop pressuring yourself to appear perfect. Not to mention, the harder you try, the more awkward you'll come across. That being said, in order to develop your wit, just set a goal to make one small clever remark each day. You can do this by practicing in easier and more low-risk settings. That way, if one of your jokes don't get a good reaction, then it won't be such a big deal. The rejection won't feel so bad because there's less at stake. Remember, you're just experimenting with your responses, so keep it light and have fun with it. If you keep this up, you'll feel a lot more comfortable in any social situation. You'll be able to show your true personality more during moments that count. To help you out, I made a free cheat sheet that will show you how to approach and talk to anybody. You can download a free copy by going to socialconfidencemastery.com. That link is also available in the description below. That being said, how do you come up with clever things to say more consistently? If you don't figure this out, then you'll always feel like you're grasping for straws because you can't come up with anything creative. To prevent that from happening to you, you'll want to pay close attention to my fifth tip. In this case, if you want to become more witty, I want to remind you of something. Everything worthwhile takes time, so be patient with yourself. If you're shy and don't have a lot of experience interacting with people, you have to manage your expectations. Anticipate that you're going to mess some things up. You'll have a few embarrassing experiences, and that's totally okay. That being said, if you want to figure out how to be more witty, avoid taking things so personally. If you make a joke and not get the reaction that you were hoping for, don't make it about you. Instead of beating yourself up mentally, here's what I encourage you to do. When you get home from any event or gathering, take some time to reflect. Pull out your journal and really think about what happened more objectively. You'll want to analyze your interactions so you can identify what worked and what didn't. You'll want to pay attention to how people responded to your jokes and stories. And then make a mental note of those things so you can create a specific game plan. That way, you can make the necessary adjustments so you can improve the way you express yourself. If you do this long enough, a pattern will emerge. Eventually, you'll be able to come up with good comebacks on a spot that's guaranteed to make people laugh. As a result, you'll become the star of your next conversation. People will feel good being around you and they'll enjoy your company more. That being said, if you want to become the life of the party, you have to be able to engage a large crowd. Watch this next video if you want to learn how to participate in group conversations. By the end of it, you'll be able to interact with lots of people all at once, so make sure you check it out.